and it's the Warriors to start out. It is still early in the season, Greg. We'd, we'd like to think we have teams figured out, but but do we really? Not at all, Kevin. This is the time period where fan bases freak out because of records. There's still a lot of identity to be found with every team. Now Golden State's starting five. In the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Mr. Incredible is out there with Kevon Looney. And it's Wiggins in at the three spot. And with all the pressure that rests on MP, Greg, he knows he'll be judged on one thing, and one thing only, winning. And that's the case for all franchise players. Can you deliver a title to your team? And MP is very much aware of this and won't be distracted from his main goal. Well, Looney knows his role, good at keeping the ball moving and finding the right man for the shot. Green against Thompson. Green kicks to Brooks. Back to Green. Van Vliet outside. Five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot. Good work there as it goes. Rabbit's foot in the shoe that time. Got lucky because the pick has to be better. It made no impact, but they still got the score. It's Curry outside. Shingun with the rebound. Green finds Van Vliet. Shangun with the ball. Off target from three-point range. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Pass to Mr. Incredible. Thompson dishes to Curry. Golden State moving it around. Curry on the wing. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Van Vliet. And Thompson gets it to go in on the assist by Curry. Thompson's got five now. Just love the flow and the mechanics of what Clay does so efficiently with that J. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. To the inside. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Warriors have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. So the Warriors GA last summer deciding to maximize the Curry Clay Draymond timeline. And have slowly swapped their youth for vet contributors. Sit pool out for the veteran Paul. They know the window is closing and want one more title. Now Green after the missed three from Clay Thompson. Well, nice defense from Looney able to totally upset the shot because of his positioning. Last outing for Golden State, they won that game against the Kings in Sacramento. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. And here is Green after the three-pointer from Stephen Curry. Green kicks to Smith. Thompson against Green. Fires from deep. The Rockets again can't hit. You could see he wanted to get him back. Sadly, he couldn't capitalize from outside the arc. Van Vliet finds Smith. Another miss by Houston. And it's the Warriors' ball. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. And that one drops for him. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Now here the 2K leaderboard with last season's top rebounding teams. The Rockets fourth. And they were so awesome last year on the boards, blocking out, maintaining position, and finishing off possessions with the rebound. They are physical, and that effort afforded them a ton of extra possessions. Van Vliet outside. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet. The Rockets again can't hit. Warriors leading by 10. Thompson dishes to Curry.
Let's the three fly and another three for Golden State. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. And here is Shangoon. After the three-pointer from Stephen Curry, the baseline J off the mark. Here is Mr. Incredible, covered by Smith. Thompson passes to Kerr. Passes it to Mr. Incredible. Now Looney. Outside for Curry. Four on the shot clock. To the paint. Here's Mr. Incredible, and the layup's good off the glass. Mr. Incredible's got his second basket of the night. This is not your average regular season game, guys. The these teams have quite the history. You know, in games like this, you expect a little something extra from MP. We'll see what he's got up his sleeve for this one. Timeout called the Rockets. And checking out some numbers for Thompson. Good season for him last year. He put up about 22 points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. And he's also a bit of a stopper defensively. They put him in, and their defense really tightens up. This is his specialty. He sits on the bench, he gauges what's happening offensively, and he comes in and sticks the opponent's top scorer to freeze him out. Oh, here's Van Vliet. Boy, he just disappeared against San Antonio, and they really needed him. Let's take a look at Steph Curry's numbers. He's coming off an excellent season. And you look at his three-point field goal percentage. How about top ten in the league? He did not miss often. And just going back to his free throw efficiency, it's about confidence when you're at the line. You've always said it. He had it. That's how he ended up with the top three ranking. Yeah, it feels like Steph doesn't even have to look. He just knows where his teammates are. Green taking his time here. In the corner, Smith with it. Oh, and there's the alley oop. And Shingun throws it down. And great find by Van Vliet. He's in control of this offense and generally makes good decisions. The pass to Curry. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists in the game. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Thompson misses. Rockets trail by 18. And you think about Clay Thompson's career, Brent, an incredibly resilient player. Look at all he's overcome. When you think about those injury cards dealt out to play, well, here's an ACL. Not only that, he gets the Achilles card. So he did it twice, and he continues to play at a high level. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Warriors. Inside, and Thompson throws it down. Great signs as Clay goes vertical that time. Thompson's gone three for five from the field. to Shengun. Smith with it. Now defended by Mr. Incredible. Now that one from Van Vliet. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Warriors leading by 17. To the middle. Here's Mr. Incredible. Fouled on the shot. And picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Borders checked in for Jalen Green. And Golden State also making a change. Paul's checked in. Greg, remember back when the 22-23 season started and the Rockets were among the youngest teams in the NBA. And it's hard to win in this league with youth and inexperience. Houston's front office aggressively adding quality vets like Fred Van Lee in hopes of stabilizing that roster. And here are the Warriors now. Following the miss by Jabari Smith from deep. And really setting the tone early with their three-point shooting. Wiggins has gone a perfect 2-2 two two from the arc. 
Van Vliet kicks to Porter. Up top, Shingu. Over Looney. Warriors with the rebound. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. And it's Wiggins missing. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yeah, that happens. Important thing is for players, just don't beat yourself up and make a miss like that cost you another play. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the foul against Golden State. That's his sixth attempt in his third mate. Curry's toughness on display inside there, just clashing inside. Setting the floor for the Warriors. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Green is up there with Mr. Incredible, and it's Peyton in at the three. Tate against Peyton, down to five on the shot clock, and there's the foul. It goes on Mr. Incredible. That's his first foul. Second team foul. Pass to Easton. Fires for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Easton's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Warriors leading by 20. Here's the screen. Paul passes to Kirk. Takes it from 10, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Porter finds Green. Eason, a screen on Curry. Green. Mr. Incredible pulls it in. Mr. Incredible's got his seventh rebound here tonight. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Steph Curry has changed the game, but he's going to be hard to emulate. Steve Kerr says he has maybe the best hand-eye coordination in the world. Coach is not bad in his own right as the career leader in three-point percentage, but in the free throw competitions, Steve says he swishes everything. The guy's annoying. I can't beat him. Kevin? <laughs> All, right. All right, David, thank you. <laughs> Catching up on the changes for Houston. Smith comes in for Green, and it's Fred Van Vliet in for Porter. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. A great assist by Paul as that one goes in. And 11 points for Mr. Incredible. And CP3 with that court awareness, it's legendary, exceptional at realizing when his guys are wide open. Van Vliet passes to Tate. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And certainly flying under the radar this summer was Chris Paul. Smooth to the Golden State Warriors, GA. That is a very interesting move. Yeah, Paul was on the outs in Phoenix, and after a brief stop in D.C., ended up with the Warriors. Once was a heated rival of the franchise, but that's how fast things can change. Porter's checked in for Tate. And the dunk by Eason. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Shots good by Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible's got 13. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Now a timeout called by Houston. And now here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best teams from three-point land a year ago. Second, the Warriors. Everything clicked for them last year, especially on the perimeter, and they shot a very high percentage. A lot of that due to their offensive schemes. Outside, Green. 
he dishes it to Porter. Smith sets the pick for Porter. Shot clock at five. There's the steal. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it over Porter. And the Warriors tack on two more. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Curry against Porter. Six to shoot. But Trey, good on the triple. He's got eight. Good to see Porter Jr. knocking down the triple. Needs to keep taking and making those shots. Paul kicks to Wiggins. Passes it to Curry. Unloads. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Curry's got ten points now just in this quarter. Van Vliet against Paul. There's the pass to Smith. That shot missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And that one's good. Wiggins. Well, if Wiggins hits these three-point balls at a high clip, he'll become a much better player and more dangerous for this offense. Van Vliet against Paul. Van Vliet passes to Easton. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Eason's got 10 points. They're having more success from three-point range here in the second after a rough first quarter from deep. Paul outside. To the inside. Here's Mr. Incredible. It's off, but still a great shooting night. Six of eight from the field in the game. Green kicks to Smith. Van Vliet wide open. No good from outside. Well, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And you can't give up looks like that all game long. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. And for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leafy ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. For the Rockets, Shengun comes in for Jari Eason. And it's Dylan Brooks in for Jalen Green. The Warriors also with a sub. Thompson, he's checked in for Curry. Here's Paul, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Paul's got four points now in the quarter. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for Houston. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. Yeah, lots of ups and downs. One good possession, two bad ones, one good one. They could never get on a steady run and play some solid offense. Van Vliet passes to Porter. Brooks outside. Pass to Shengun. And Van Vliet launches it from deep. That three off the mark. And another miss. Whew. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Looney with the bucket. Looney in the right spot there. Good presence on the inside as he boxes the defense out and sends the ball right up. Van Vliet against Paul. Fires the three. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Yeah, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Paul, again, Golden State. You know, bro, we know how intense NBA practices can get, but how often do tempers boil over? Well, practices are where you improve, and it's also a chance for guys who are on the bench to let the coaches know they're ready for more minutes. So that competitive environment is going to cause some dust-ups, and trust me, Kevin, you don't hear about most of the things that go on behind closed doors. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Porter kicks to Shangoon. 
Smith outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Smith's got five. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. On the wing, Wiggins. Brooks covering. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Van Vliet. Wiggins against Brooks. There's the dish to Porter. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. Let's take a look here at the numbers for Porter. Last year, getting it done. He was around 19 points per game last year. Five assists and five rebounds. And you look at his skill set, and I think it's just a matter of time before he commands a bigger presence on this team. Yeah, just a bit rough around the edges, but he has the tools. He just needs to sharpen them. Timeout called the Warriors. A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. Great showing for him last season. And his passing skills were on full display all year. He ranked among the top 15 in assists. And he sported some of the quickest hands in the league last year, putting him top three in steals. He was consistently all over the basketball. Good. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. The Rockets shooting just 39% from the field, struggling to find that net. Van Vliet with it. Chris Paul covering. Pass to Thompson. Out to Smith. Launches it. And it's Looney with the rebound. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Ten points for him. And that's a signature shot from Chris Paul still knocking down 15 to 18 footers. And last season, Greg, the Rockets tied for the league's second worst record. They expect a different outcome this go around. Yeah, their veteran addition, headlined by Fred Van Vliet, key to turning the tide, but also continued progression by their youngsters. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. He kicks to Wiggins to the middle. The shot by Paul, no good. And for Houston, they're shooting at an even 50% from the floor here in the second quarter. Thompson, a screen on Wiggins. Brooks against Wiggins. Wiggins with some nice D. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Here's Mr. Incredible at balls. Nice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got assist number five here tonight. And the Rockets with possession here. And he lobs it up toward the rim. My goodness. <laughs> say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. There's the pick. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. One eye on the rim, one eye on the clock. Nice job. Yeah, it's almost like he's playing with the wristwatch there. He knew the time, he executed. And so it's the Golden State Warriors leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. We've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. And Mr. Incredible has been sensational. Yeah, and I don't know if anybody saw this offense coming from him, but it's been key for his team. Yeah, and I'm not sure coming into this game he felt like he could dominate in the way he's doing so now. Been phenomenal. The guard spots are Van Fleet and Green. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Smith. 
and it's Shingun in at the center position. And that's the group in there for Ime Udoka as we begin the second half. Wiggins is checked in for the Warriors. In for the Warriors. Number 22, Andrew Wiggins. Here's Van Vliet. Shengun with the screen for Van Vliet. Shengun no good. And it's Wiggins with the ball for Golden State. To the paint, stolen by Van Vliet. It's Brooks on the wing. The Rockets again can't hit. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. And it's Wiggins missing. Rockets have gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. The drive by Green, and Green slams it in. Tenacious on that drive. Green using his speed effectively. There's a screen. Curry passes to Mr. Incredible. Shengun with the rebound. shengun has got six rebounds in the game. Curry against Van Vliet. Smith with a screen on Curry. Van Vliet. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Golden State moving the ball around. Mr. Incredible the pass to Looney, and he makes that one. Looney's got his second bucket of the night. Come on, Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Inside, there's Mr. Incredible, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. Well, he can be as accurate with his playmaking, Curry making a major impact with moving the ball that way. You know, we talk so much, Brent, about Steph Curry shooting. What about his leadership skills and what that means to the team? Now, there's no doubt the team feeds off of Steph's positive joy and energy and his commitment to the game. He wills them to victory night in and night out. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Clearly a foul. The Warriors have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And look back a season ago. They did a solid job at the line, about 79% of their free throws. And last season, the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. There's only one timeline, and that's Steph Curry's. Now, there are only a few players in the league who can hit a teammate like that in stride. Beautiful assist. To the middle. Here's Mr. Incredible and the rejection by Smith. And staying connected to the shooter, Smith has elite defensive tools. Brooks kicks to Van Vliet. Smith sets the pick for Van Vliet. Driving to the basket. Yep, that one goes in there. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. To the inside, and it's Wiggins with the jam. Quick into the air, Andrew Wiggins up and throws it down. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks very much. The Rockets have brought in Ime Adoka to help their team become a winner. Ime said, we have a lot of guys that have a chip on their shoulders. Those are the types I look for. And from there, we want to cultivate that into team success. That's the job of a coach, to push that and get that out of them. Kevin? It is. Good thought. All right, David, thank you. And the new CBA challenging the top spending teams, Brent. That certainly affects the Warriors, doesn't it? Yeah, Kevin, the roster is not getting any younger, but it's getting more expensive. So to sustain that kind of payroll, especially with the way the tax system is set up, it's something the Warriors are, are just going to have to deal with at some point and make some very critical decisions around what this roster is going to look like. Green against Thompson. Here's the three. Green, no luck. Warriors have gone four of seven to get things started here in the second half. 
Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Here's Mr. Incredible. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. 24 points for Mr. Incredible. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Curry against Van Vliet. Ipo Shengun. Smith outside. Five on the clock. From the arc. And another make to his scoring count. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. He's got such a smooth release on catch and shoot jumper. Smith is lethal off ball. Curry's shot is good. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from Rain. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now it's a shootout. Here's Shengu. And it's Houston with another. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Curry passes to Mr. Incredible. Back to Curry. And here's Wiggins. Down low. Here's Mr. Incredible. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise into a lane. And it's Smith finishing it off. And the numbers speak for themselves. Smith has been aggressive and effective all night. And here is Curry. He's got 19. To the paint. Ball's not loose. Puts one up from 19. Brooks misses. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Some nice passing by Golden State. It's taken away by Smith. And the wide open shot from Green. That falls. Great assist by Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got his ninth assist in the game now. Timeout called the Warriors. Tari Eason's checked in. For Houston, they're shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pair. Mr. Incredible is out there with Peyton, and it's Green in at the five spot. Paul against Porter. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. He gets that one. And it's now 26 points for Mr. Incredible. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass and then you get it there for an easy bucket. Fires from 14. Mr. Incredible pulls it in. Mr. Incredible's got 11 rebounds in the game. Green with a screen on Porter. Over Porter. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. That's why Chris Paul is so special is because he can just navigate around pick and rolls find open areas and there's just no defense for that. Pass to Porter. Tate with the ball. To the top of the key Eason. Peyton against Green. Clock at four. Kicks to Green. Eason's shot is good. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. They set the pick. Here's Paul. Good on the 13-footer. Paul's got nine points here in the second half. And Chris Paul looking a little bit like his younger self in this one so far. Green, the pass to Eason. Back to Green. Green with a screen for Green. And it's Houston with another. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Paul looking around over Porter. And again, it's Chris Paul. Paul's got six in the quarter. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, he's feeling it. Keep feeding him until he misses. 
Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. In a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Warriors. And they're playing beautiful basketball right now, racking up the assists by playing so unselfishly, just finding the open man. All game long, they've just done a great job of keeping the pressure on the defense and penetrating with the pass. They've gotten everything inside, and they've converted there. Second team foul. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And finished off by the quarter. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. No good that time. Great T that time from Green. On the wing, Green. Misses the three. Warriors leading by 21. To the inside, here's Mr. Incredible at balls. Ice feed that time from Wiggins. Wiggins has got his seventh assist here tonight. Rockets have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Porter with it. Now Green defending. Jacks up a three. And it's Green missing. The Warriors have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Curry passes to Mr. Incredible. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Eason. And here's what the Rockets schedule looks like. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And then on Saturday, it'll be the Sacramento Kings coming into town. Curry passes to Mr. Incredible. Just five to shoot. And they may want to work on getting more high percentage shots. They have the lead, but the three-point shots haven't been falling for them like they were in the first half. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Porter against Curry. Porter with it. Green with a screen on Curry. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. That's a miss. And with it, he is five for nine. Mr. Incredible, the pass to Green. And he makes good on the layup. Draymond Green's not going to let anyone slow him down. Terrific at completing that chase. All against Van Vliet. And of course, you were known as Bones in your playing days, but what were some of your favorite NBA nicknames? Oh, Kevin, I've been so fortunate to be around the NBA for so long. I go way back to names like Iceman George Gervin or Dr. J Julius Irving or Pistol Pete Maravich one of my favorite players but is there any one better than Magic Johnson inside here is Mr. Incredible guarded by Green shots good by Mr. Incredible and I like that they're not settling getting the ball on the interior eight of their last ten coming that way now a timeout called by Houston Check in for the Warriors. Gary Payton comes in for Stephen Curry. And so it's Houston with it. Van Vliet up top. Green with a screen on Paul. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. The Warriors pull it in. Mr. Incredible's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. Peyton from outside. Traps in the tray. Oh, great ball movement there. Houston's gone ice cold from three-point land. 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And they pick up two. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Van Vliet against Paul. 
Van Vliet looking around. Eason, a screen on Paul. Just five on the clock. And a wide open look for Porter. Buries it from three point range. Porter's got five points now in the quarter. And in getting that three to go, he snaps an 11 0 run by the Warriors. And the pass to Kaminga. Golden State moving the ball around. Peyton passes to Mr. Incredible. Count it good. 32 points for Mr. Incredible. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Green kicks to Van Vliet. Hey, Brent and Reese here as we've seen the rise of sports analytics conventions, pro basketball negotiation competitions. I mean, they're really digging deep. Well, they're not only digging deep, Kevin, but they're giving a tremendous opportunity to a swath of people that never thought they'd be part of the NBA. Look, if you're not six foot eight with a 35 inch vertical, that doesn't mean that you still don't have a place at the table in the NBA. If you study hard enough or you can make contributions to what the business side of basketball is all about. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Down low, here's Mr. Incredible. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Mr. Incredible's got 15 points in just the second half. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for Houston. Offensive rebound. And it's still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. Well, this kind of effort will energize the team and get you going, just gobbling up every board. That one goes in. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Now Porter. Van Vliet outside. Green with a screen on Paul. Van Vliet finds Green. There's Porter with the three. Mr. Incredible pulls it in. Mr. Incredible's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. The Rockets shooting a paltry 33% in the fourth. Not a good showing for this offense. Count that bucket. Good to see KPJ not afraid of that mid-range. Hitting those can really open up other parts of your game. They set the pick. Here's Paul. And the Warriors tack on two more. Uh, unwilling. to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flames and he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away and taken away by Paul and it's the Warriors on the break Green passes to Mr. Incredible makes it off the glass Mr. Incredible's got 38 points moving it around eight of their last ten coming off assist Porter kicks to Green Green with a screen for Van Vliet. It's good from long range. And he's now got the double-double. 10 points and 12 assists. Van Vliet against Paul. To the middle. Here's Mr. Incredible. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And for Houston, they're shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. To the inside. Here's Eason. Again, the Rockets score. And Green is a critical role player for this team. His passing is really phenomenal. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. Eason grabs the board. Down low. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Eason's got 22 points. And how about Porter Jr.'s court awareness? Excellent job finding the open man with the pass. Paul for three. It's rebounded by Houston. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And the three ball is good. Eason's got 11 points in the quarter. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Mr. Incredible, the pass to Paul. Shoots over Van Vliet.
and it's Paul scoring on a gorgeous play. 27 points for him. CP3 using his quickness there. Doesn't have the size, but we know he's got the will. Yes, and, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Warriors. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And ever win important, and this one will go down is win number three. And, and once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Mr. Incredible. What more can you really ask of a guy? I mean, when you come out and get a triple-double, making contributions all over the place. Out to Brooks. Outside, Green. Houston moving it around. Smith for three. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. There's the screen. Paul passes to Mr. Incredible. The shot, no good. Excellent defense there from Smith. And here are the Rockets now. Outside, Green. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Paul. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. So we see the Warriors taking the game here. 